Okay, let's start with the bass line and the kick. For the bass line, uh, I use the ANA2. Uh, let's start from the scratch. Yeah. Saw wave. Let's use the TB saw wave. That's the one from the 303. Then we use a filter. Let's try the Oberheim. Okay, then that's the notes. Copy making 60 notes. Uh, I guess something wrong with the loop. There it is, okay. So now I want uh, to modulate the volume and filter via velocity. So I put the velocity up here on the filter and here on the volume as well. And then I use the velocity tool and change the velocities here. Okay, that works. <clears throat> then, yeah, for the kick, I used one of uh, the kicks of my sample library. It's here in the XS. It's kind of an 808 kick with a click on it. Bring the velocity up here that the kick, uh, uh, that all the kick has the same volume or a level. Okay, now it sounds a bit muddy. So I used the LFO tool on the bass line, sidechain, and sidechain the note where the kick drum is placed. Then also take down all the low ends. to change the velocities a bit more. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go, sounds better. And then I added some delay on it. Here, the HDLA sounds pretty cool. Uh, ping pong, then it moves from left to right, makes it kind of, and makes it stereo, more stereo the bass. That's it so far for the bass and the kick. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.